chef on two wheels here again. Today I will be making pizza dough. So this one's a, a special request from Ma'an, uh, one of my college schoolmates. So today I'll be using uh, four ingredients. I'm using a double O farina. So this one's perfect for making pasta, pizza, or if you add it to a bread flour, you get a better leaven dough. I'll be using one kilo of double O flour, two teaspoons of salt, one eight teaspoon of instant dry yeast or if you get the fresh yeast use uh, one gram and then 600 grams of cold water so this one's a slow rice or slow proofing gives you more flavor this one take you about minimum 12 hours to 24 hours to proof so easy you just add the water first and then put in our salt so you want it salty water. Add uh, about about uh, let's say three fourths of this uh, flour. What we're just doing is building a like a barrier for the for the yeast to come in, so it won't die from the salt. So I'm sure by now you know. Yeast doesn't like salt. Surely you can use all-purpose flour, but you won't get a, a stretchy, like a stretchy dough. So adding some more, and then we'll add in our yeast. All right. So I just add more flour. Don't dump all your flour all at once. Flour absorbs water like differently from flour to flour or depends on the the temperature you have at home. Okay, just add keep on adding until you get a consistency that you can knead it on top of your bench. So with this recipe you can make at least five or to six pizza bases. Time we'll use our hands already. So just keep on adding more flour. So with clean hands, just keep on mixing them. This recipe you can use also your uh, dough mixer. You'll be needing this for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes until you get a smooth, smooth dough. That's getting along real good. Okay. Now you start kneading. Okay. Just try to incorporate all of these. You can do the V style. Left, right. So after this, you don't need to go to the gym. Just make some pizza. Yeah. And then, when you press it, it'll just go up. Okay. And then just put it back into your bowl. Let it rest for about 30 minutes to one hour. And then we'll just cover it with a tea towel. And then we'll portion it later. We'll portion our dough. And we'll just dust our board. And then we'll transfer our dough. So this one is two, 250 grams. So I get six balls. So this one's about 250 approximately each. And then we'll just ball them. Just easy way to ball them. Just fold it over. 
and put it on the other side fold it over again so do that about four times okay fold it till you get the smooth top and then just pinch the, the edges okay and then just like roll it okay and there you go and then just crimp the, uh, the bottom that's one year bowl. Now we'll just slowly f let it ferment for about 10 hours. 10 hours to 12 hours. Let it, uh, let it rise. Okay. So if you don't don't use all of these bowls, you can make uh, bread. Really good bread with this one. Or make uh, focaccia. So don't worry about your excess bread, your, your dough, because you can always use it for something. Okay. And then after, we'll just get some olive oil. We'll just put some olive oil on top. But after this, we'll just have to cover it with cling film already, so that's to protect it from drying. So just cover it in clean film. So after 12 hours of rising, we'll just re bowl them. So with a spatula, just grab a portion. Okay, we'll just re bowl them. So we'll do the same. Fold. The other one is guiding and then just make like a dumpling twist with your hand cover it again until then that will be ready for later after shaping it this one's been resting for five hours already so we can use them time to make our pizzas this side please I'll be using a semolina for our bench flour. Grab a handful of that. Two full ones. Then using your scraper, so grab a ball. First, you'll just put some of that semolina on top. Grab some semolina into your scraper. And then just grab your pizza, your pizza ball, pizza dough. Just put it on top. So I put the top and the bottom. So that was the top a while ago. So put some more semolina. About an inch here and an inch there, that's where we stopped. So you just press it down. Okay. So we're not stretching, we're just pushing it down. Flip it over. And do the same. Just push it down. So you're leaving this crust. So pretty much you're just pushing out all the air to the sides. Okay, flip it over again. So with this hand, this is to flatten. This one's to stretch, okay? And then this one, stretch. Until you get bigger. At this point, we'll be using a, a pizza peel, so we'll just dust it with more semolina. And then we'll just transfer the dough. So let's put them aside. We'll use some uh, tomato sauce. Just in the middle, 
spread it. So you don't need too much. Leave the edges so you get a good crust. Get some mozzarella and some parmesan cheese on top. I'll just stretch this. the final stretching make it bigger so roughly this one is a I think it's a 12 inches just add more some basil and some olive oil on top right that's all we need We'll just transfer it in our pizza stone. So just put it in. Just slide it in, okay? I'll leave that to cook. There you go. Our homemade pizza. This is a pizza margarita. Kakaina! Sour crust. Okay, it's cooked. It's cooked. There you have it. Pizza.